Welcome, folks. Via the Dow Industrials trading up 285, NASDAQ up 89, S&P's up 27. Gold, gold contract up $6.30, trading at 2,427 an ounce. We have silver down 23 cents, $30.92 an ounce, late sweet crude. Off 27 cents, $81.94 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down seven ticks, 110.31. The 30-year down 26 at 119.04 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 103, 104, 193, Euro 109, Yen 157, British Pound 129 to 1 US Dollar. We'll get over and take a look at the S&P. It doesn't matter whether you go to the S&P or the Qs, folks. What's going to get interesting here is that how we close. Why? Because you got a new high in the S&P. That being said, this is the contraction in a monster way after basically getting to a high on Friday. The volume wasn't bad. 53 million. We're at 23 million. So if the SPY closes below 563.67, that's a failure on price and volume. We're at 562.10 right now. The Qs, same type of setup inside the Qs. We have the Qs here. The Qs right now have done 23 million. And the Qs, we had, you know, come down with uh, 49 million. Friday went higher with 37. We're 23 right now. So on the Qs, the number you're looking for is the 499.62. Now we hit 501.01, sold off from there. But those two numbers are going to be crucial because if you close below those two numbers, that's telling me that. The beginning of a correction has actually to happen, and that would have been Thursday that, that actually would have started. Because this is a classic, meaning that when you do get any type of corrections, the bottom line is that you go down, you go down with volume, you pull back up with light volume, you try to test. And in the S&P's case, well, you know, specifically, you know, if you're listening when I had Wood on on Thursday, rather, uh, he was looking for the S&P to test that high volume high again. That's that's real bottom line. So we're going to see where that whole thing shakes out. We go to the gold market. We take a look at gold. Gold, gold, what has happened with gold is this, is that you have the metal itself, okay, coming up to the top of the consolidation. But it's losing momentum as it's getting up to that level. So my take is that it's not going to break the top of this consolidation just yet. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.